Hello, I'm James. Welcome to Maths Kitchen. This is the fourth episode in my 20-week series looking at how you can be successful in your maths at GCSE. And today is all about motivation. I've got a really simple little way that you can get yourself motivated and keep yourself motivated. Now, one really good way that I found of motivating myself is to keep a track of the work that I've done and to show myself the progress that I'm making. And there are some really, really simple ways you can do this. In a moment, I will show you a really simple sort of paper-based method to do this. First of all, let me show you how you could be using the Maths Kitchen website to do this. So if you're logged on to the website, every time you answer some questions, they're gonna get ticked off. And if you look on the list of topics, you can see all of those things being ticked off that you've already completed. So if you completed them successfully, you get a tick. If you've done it, but you got them wrong, you'll get a cross and you can go back, have another go at doing those, convert that cross to a tick. That's one way you can do it. If you're on the progress page, you can see as you've successfully answered a topic, that changes to green and you can see that bar of green will slowly increase over time. And you can just choose whether you want us to choose topics from you, you know, that are gonna be around about your level or you can choose the level of topics that you want from that right hand side there as well. So if you're signed up to the website now, this is January, 2020, all of that is available to you for free and will continue to be available to you for free right up um, to the summer of 2020. If you're watching this after January, then some of this might be behind a premium subscription, which you might not have, okay? So how are you gonna do this if you don't have that? What's a free, easy way to do this? Well, I just use a little notepad and you could do this perhaps in the back of your exercise book. And I just do a really, really simple little tick chart. I use this to keep myself motivated for running and exercising. I get to tick something off every day because it's incredibly satisfying to tick things off a list. And I just make a little table like this. And every day that you've been on the website or you've done your Corbett Maths five a day, or you've done your maths homework, whatever it is, every day that you've done some maths you can tick that off and you get a tremendous sense of satisfaction and if you keep it all in one place like a notepad like the back of your exercise book it is really really nice to see that growing over the weeks to see right I've done one week where I've ticked them all off two weeks where I've ticked them all off wow look at that I've got 10 weeks where I've ticked it off every single week it's really really super satisfying <laughs> uh, so this is my tip for today. To keep motivated, you need to be tracking your progress and you need to be rewarding yourself, just giving yourself that nice feeling of having done some work. So that's today's tip, really simple, but really powerful as well. So I recommend that you are either using the Maths Kitchen website to sort of keep a track of your progress and you get that satisfaction of seeing that green bar increase, or keep a record of this in an exercise book or a notepad somewhere, or even better, do both of those things and give yourself a tick every day that you've done a bit of maths practice. Now, the, the only thing I would add is that you don't have to be doing maths every single day. So give yourself a little bit of leeway. You might have a table with five ticks for the whole week. So you've got two days where you can have an evening off where you don't have to do any maths practice. Now, if you haven't seen the other videos in the series, do go and have a look at those now. If you're not subscribed to the channel, get that done now. And thank you very much for joining me today. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.